I have here a Samsung UN40F6300 TV uh, that won't turn on and we've got some flashing codes on the power light. So here's our, our sequence of codes. So we watch it. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five flashes on this and that's all it does. Set doesn't turn on, no backlights, no nothing. So I'm just gonna take a power supply reading off of one of the, uh, this is the higher voltage of the power supply here. And let's take a look at what's going on. I think this is the LED source actually. It's a higher voltage supply. I turn on the power and I hit the power button here on the TV because it's in the off state now. Watch what happens. We have about 190 volts, 195 volts, and then it goes off as the TV goes through its blinking cycle. And then it'll come back on, go up to about 200 volts, and go off again. So our power supply is starting and shutting down, starting and shutting down. So we have a power supply problem on this set. It could be one of the backlights. This is an LED set, so it's got a strip of LEDs, so it could be one of the LEDs has gone bad and uh, it's drawing too much current and uh, it's being detected. But uh, let's do a little more investigating to see what's causing the problem. But we definitely, we definitely have a problem on this set. As you can see, the power supply is going on and off. The other supply voltages are, um, where are they here? Yeah, again, we're seeing our low voltage come on and go off too, right? There's our 9 volt supply, eight, and that's dropping. So the power supply is cycling. So something is taking this into a shutdown state. It's not uh, loose ground screws on this one, they're tight. So that's not an issue on this particular set. My 5 volts is stable. It's one of a couple things. Either we got a bad backlight that's drawing too much power or we have a failure on the main board. I'm, I'm thinking it's a failure on the main board and, and the, why I'm leaning this direction. So if I unplug the power connector to the main board and now apply power, we'll see that the backlights are uh, flickering and we'll see that our 9 volt supply is now stable and our 192 volt supply for the lights is stable. So our power supply is not doing the cycle on, cycle off, cycle on, cycle off like it was when the connector on the main board is plugged in. So I'm, I'm starting to lean towards that we have a short on the main board on this set and that is uh, what the problem is. Still do a little more research on this. It, it still could be a bad backlight because the, it, it, there could be a feedback circuit between the power supply backlights and the main board to shut down the power supply if there's overcurrent. But again, it could be something on the board here. Uh, if it's the main board that's at, at fault, this set's going to be a write-off because I don't think the client that owns it's going to want to spend uh, a lot of money to uh, fix a TV that's not worth that much. These sets are pretty cheap these days. Okay, if we watch this, the power supply is being commanded off. The power supply is commanded on there and then off. This is coming from the logic board. If I cut the power supply control so it floats, the power supply now stays on and our, our voltage is on for our LEDs, but we have no backlight. Um, it's being commanded on and off by the signal board. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take out the, the panel dimming uh, pin to see if the lights will come on because of course the, the, there's a control line that can dim the backlights down. On this, I'm just gonna pull that high and see if the backlights will come on and stay on. That'll prove that the problem's with something on the control board. I think if we look down here at the panel, we can see the problem. 
we have half of our lights out. Watch when I fire it up. I've got I've got it kind of bypassed now so that I can get the lights to kind of come on, but they'll go out. But you see this? Um, we're only getting some lights in the bottom half of the panel. We have a problem with the light strips on this panel here, on the top half of the panel. So I'm going to take the panel apart and see if I can uh, get at them. At this point, I don't know whether they, they whether we're going to be able to repair this thing or not. It all depends on whether I can find the LED that's out. If it's just one that's out, maybe bypass it. Uh, i got to get a hold of the uh, owner of the set anyway and see what they want to do. I know that they, they're in a big, great big hurry and they want this thing pronto. So there's a good possibility they're going to walk away from this. But uh, we're making some progress. I'm pretty sure we can say with confidence that we've got the top half of the lights are out. It's drawing too much current and it's putting the set into a shutdown mode. So now we sit and wait and find out what's going on with this thing. I, I doubt very much whether the owner of this set is going to want to uh, tear the thing down and replace the lights on it. I'm going to leave it sit in this state here for a little bit until I find what's going on. And uh, if it uh, becomes a set that's given to me, it's, you know, it's been trashed then maybe we'll pull the panel apart and uh, see if I can replace the light but at this stage of the game I'm going to let it sit because uh, it's not my set I have to wait and find out if they want it back I gotta put it all back together for them and give it back if they say scrap it then uh, we'll, we'll tear the panel apart and uh, see if I can replace the strip of lights that are bad from some scrap sets that I've got. I've got another Samsung here. I think it's a 40, I think it's a 46 inch. But I don't know if the I don't know if the individual light strips will be compatible until I actually get the thing apart. Because it, the other set I've got's got a bad panel. So I've got a bad panel but good lights. I may be able to salvage some of the individual strips if they are the same size. Um, we'll find out anyway. As I say, I'm holding pattern on this now if we fix this thing you won't see this part of the video but if you're seeing this part of the video if I publish it and you're seeing this part of the video then they wanted the set back and we didn't fix it 